Hi booktube! My name is Sarah and welcome to The Bookish Knitter. Today I'm coming to you with the second vlog of the weekend. So tonight is Friday. It is Friday. It is the 21st of uh, July. It's about 7 p.m. In one hour, two reading events are starting and I am participating in both of them. So the first one that I've known about for a while because I had to actually sign up is the Booktube Besties Re Retreat, which is hosted by Krista over at Books and Jams. Um, Amanda from The Curly Reader, Lindsay from Lindsay's Little Library, and Sarah from Sarah's Nightstand. I will leave a link to all four of those ladies in the description box below. And they've done this. This is the third round. I have participated in all three. I did the first one. I was, I didn't do the second one like, you know, I didn't sign up to do the second one, but I was asked to be a panelist, which was super exciting. So I got to participate that weekend. And this one I signed up for again because I had so much fun on the first two. So it's essentially 24 hours of like a reading retreat in a way. Um, there's like uh, discussions on books, there's reading sprints, there's all kinds of amazing things. Um, they do this, I think, well, like I said, this is their third. I think the last one was in the fall or in the winter. I can't remember. Maybe it was in the spring. I don't remember. <laughs> what is time anymore, people? And what happened to 2013? 2013 was 10 years ago. 2023, oh my gosh. I think I need a coffee at seven o'clock at night. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, I am super, super stoked to be participating in that. Then last night I was on Instagram just before I went to bed, as one does, and a friend of mine posted that this weekend is also, or the next 24 hours, is also the Dewey's 24-hour reverse readathon. Now, I've never participated in Dewey's, but it has been going around forever. It is a readathon that lasts 24 hours from you know, a specific time to a specific time. And it's for whatever your time zone. So it's set in Eastern Standard Time. So if you're in the UK, it's going to be like maybe at midnight um, till midnight the next night. So for us here in Eastern Standard Time, it is 8 p.m. Uh, tonight, Friday night until 8 p.m. tomorrow night. And it's essentially just to read as much as you possibly can over those 24 hours. And I thought, oh my gosh, I've never participated in Dewey's. This is the perfect time to do so. So I'm also, of course, doing the book to besties, right? So I am going to be participating in both. So it was a last minute decision for me to end my weekly reading vlog today on Friday, post it on Saturday, and then this I'm going to record over the next 25, maybe 26 hours <laughs> and post it on Sunday. So at some point after both readathons finish, I will wrap up this vlog and I will post it on Sunday. Um, I'm going to try and check in as often as I possibly can. Obviously not in the middle of the night when I am sleeping. But every couple hours during the day, I give you guys an update on how many pages I've read, what I've read. If I finish anything, I would love to finish at least one book. We shall see. I don't know. I'm feeling very ambitious. I have four books that I am hoping to read over the course of the next 24-ish hours. So I thought I would start this vlog off by sharing that with you guys. So first of all, the books that I already have on the go. Um, the first one here is Diary of a War Bride by Laurie Robinson. This is for the booktube at war. Um, it is a Harlequin uh, historical, pardon me, I've got the hiccups, a Harlequin historical romance that takes place during World War II. Um, and I am about that far through it. This is one I'd like to finish and I could possibly finish it. We shall see. Um, so that is that one. The next one that I have here um, on my Kindle Paperwhite is a, so all of them except for this one are romances. So but three different types of romance, which is great. So this is a cozy mystery and it is Murder at the Beacon Bake Shop by Darcy Hanna. So there's this book. Looking very, very much forward to this one as well. I don't know much about it, but I know a lot of people who have read it really, really like it. So I'm very much looking forward to that one. And then I have um, my next Harlequin project pick. Um, and I'm using my, uh, because it is the booktube besties retreat, I am using the bookmark that Amanda over at the Curly Reader made. And everybody who signed up got a bookmark in the mail. And that is, isn't it delightful? Oh, so the booktube bestie summer reading road trip 2023, almost a 2013 again, my goodness. I kept writing today that it was April. Like that's, it's a little frightening. <laughs> I'm, I'm only 44, but should I be concerned? Um, but I think I'm just tired <laughs> to be honest. So yeah, so there is that. And I, I guess I should show you guys the book. So I will be starting her Seal Bodyguard by Cindy Dees, which is a romantic suspense novel. Um, and I'm very, very much looking forward to this one. 
She's supposed to be in hiding, but his eyes are on her. Dun, dun, dun. A runaway ranch novel. So yay on this one. I do adore Cindy D. She is a great author. Looking forward to that one. And last but not least, I do have some books from NetGalley. So I've decided to start trying to read through some of them. Now I have four Kobo devices, which are similar to the Kindle, except they're for Kobo. And um, this one is the Clara H2 or E2. I can't remember which one it is in this really cool case that I absolutely love. Kind of a lip. Is that leopard print? I guess so. Anyway, I decided because you can lo side load books onto the Kobo, which is why I love it. You used to be, well, I guess you still can do that with the Kindle, but you have to do like the send to Kindle, like the cloud thing. This one, I can literally plug these into my laptop and transfer files over. So all of my NetGalley books, because I do download them, go onto my Kobo. So I've decided that this device is going to be strictly for NetGalley books, and that's it. Um, I have three other Kobo devices I can use if I ever want to read something else that I that I own, something that I borrowed from the library or bought from Kobo. So the first one I'm starting with here is Alaskan Blackout by Joanne Rock, which is a Harlequin Desire novel. So yeah, looking forward to this one. Again, you know, I, I have a love-hate relationship with NetGalley. I, I love NetGalley. I love the idea of getting these books from NetGalley. What I don't love is the formatting on a lot of these books. Like, I find the Harlequin books are some of the worst, even though I love them so much. Um, just because of the way, like, they obviously do not want you to be able to, you know, put these up. Obviously, I mean, I get it, right? And it's not like it's an uncorrected proof. It's just a non-form, non-correctly formatted, where there are a lot of other publishers who, who send out, like, pretty much properly formatted books. So, you know, that's always good. And these ones are a little bit more difficult to read. I'm just trying to get, these are a little bit slower to start, which is a bit of a pain, but I just kind of want to show you guys what I mean in case you have never seen an unformatted book from NetGalley. Uh, come on. There we go. All right. So let me open it up here. Come on. Of course, as soon as I want to show something. So this is what I mean. So do you see this? You get all this string of numbers and letters, and then it's like um, Alaskan Blackout, and that's actually the ISBN number for the book. Page number 10, Desire, 823, and then it's like chapter one. So then as you're reading it, right? Okay, that looks pretty good. But then again, you get to the, you're getting this weird, so this is what happens between like what would be the page breaks. And it can be a little frustrating to read, my friends. A little frustrating to read, but that's fine. It's fine. It's all good. So yeah, so I will be reading that one as well. I think I'm actually going to pop up the font on that one because it's kind of tiny for my, my tired eyes at the end of the day. That's a little bit better. Fantastic. So anyway, guys, that is that. Um, you know, welcome to the vlog. The next 24 hours, I will be, I will be trying to keep track definitely of the pages that I read. I'll try and... Like every time I check in, I'll try and put it like up in the corner or something like that to give you guys like pages read or something like that. So that'll be kind of fun. Um, again, I would like to finish one of these. We shall see. You know, if I literally was to just read for 24 hours, chances are I could finish all four. But um, I'm not going to be able to do that because, you know, sleep and food and other things. But Garrett and I ordered a pizza. I've got my Starbucks drink here. Um, so yeah. I'm ready to settle in and start reading for tonight. So anyway, guys, I will check in with you before I go to bed. Bye, everybody. It's about quarter to ten at night, and we are in the middle of some reading sprints. I've only read a chapter so far, but, uh, well, for tonight anyway. But so far, of course, very much enjoying my book. Hi friends, it is quarter to 11 at night and I am about ready to go to bed. So not as much reading tonight as I wanted to, although I did finish a book earlier today if you saw the vlog on Saturday. It feels so weird talking about something that hasn't actually happened, like you guys haven't... Anyway, it's a thing. I read 46 pages today of, or tonight, of Laurie Robinson's Diary of a War Bride. So I'm about at the halfway mark, I would say. And still, of course, really, really loving this book. Um, but yeah, the chapters are super duper long on this one. I forgot about that. So yeah, it feels like I should be a lot further than I am. <laughs> Just because the chapters are so long, but I am really enjoying it. So yeah, so 46 pages. I don't necessarily have a goal for the weekend or for the 24 hours. Maybe 
200, 250, you know what, let's set a goal of 250 pages and let's see if I can do it. So that means I can read like 200 pages tomorrow, 204 pages tomorrow. So we shall see how that goes. Anyway guys, I'm just saying goodnight. Um, I did edit the vlog that is going to go up on Saturday. So that's why I didn't get as much reading done tonight as I wanted to. But that vlog is now edited and um, I will post it in the morning. And yeah, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye everybody. Morning friends, happy Saturday. It is the 22nd of July and it is just before 9 a.m. I am back in the with the booktube besties reading retreat. Uh, Garen and I had to go to Walmart this morning, pick up a couple things. Um, now I'm home starting the day off with uh, her uh, seal bodyguard. So what I did is I have four books that I'm currently reading and I actually set goals for myself for today of how many pages I wanted to get done. So what I did was on my tablet, I used that spin the wheel app and I spun the wheel to pick what the first book was going to be. And I think I might do that going forward. It was kind of fun um, to pick a book that way. So yeah. So anyway, I have got my McDonald's for breakfast here as well. So I'm eating and reading. Uh, side note, yes, I do have the physical edition, but I was able to grab the digital copy from my library. So I am reading it on my, um, on my, uh, my Kobo uh, Sage, because um, it's just a little bit easier when you're trying to eat instead of trying to hold a book and eat at the same time. So anyway, but Presley thinks we're having community breakfast this morning. <laughs> we are not. <laughs> but anyway, guys, that is my check-in for right now. I will check in with you guys soon. Hi, friends. It is about one o'clock in the afternoon now, so we've got seven hours to go. I have not been doing much reading. <laughs> I'm about three chapters into uh, her seal bodyguard. Um, this is all the reading I've gotten done. Uh, in the for the book two besties, they were doing a um, uh, what were they doing? They were doing what's called a rest stop. So they had people like that's the time that they weren't doing anything. It was more like if you need to go do your laundry or you know go have something to eat or go do your groceries. You know you didn't feel like you were missing out on anything. Then after that, they were doing um, their book discussion. Now, I didn't read the group book, so I didn't take part in that either. But during those couple of hours, I went ahead and I filmed some videos for next week or for this week to come. I actually filmed a book haul. The problem is, is that I realized the book haul is not actually going to go up this week. It's going to go up next week. So I have filmed early for a week ahead. It's another thrift store book haul, guys, because clearly I have a problem. But, um, yeah, I am excited, but then I've got, I need to film, so I'm not going to film tomorrow. I've got Monday's video ready to go, and this video is going to go up tomorrow on Sunday. Um, and I'm going to film on Monday because I'm off work, so I'm going to do some stuff then, but I have a Garbogus video that I want to do, kind of like a Garbogus guide to category romance, <laughs> which I'm really looking forward to. So anyway, um, that's that, but I, in my book haul, I got a bunch of Baby Search Club books because... I was thrift shopping and I've been chatting with my friend Courtney and she is absolutely delightful. And she had emailed me a few weeks ago and she's like, Hey, she's like, I've been buying the baby stars club books, like in book lots on eBay. And she's like, I've got some duplicates. Are you interested? And she sent me a list of the duplicates. And finally I had a chance today when I was, after I filmed that video, when I was putting stuff away to get back to her and say, yes, these are the ones that, you know, if you're willing to send them to me, I will take them. So I didn't realize she has a channel. Her, uh, she goes by Ravenclaw Reads or Raven's Claw Reads. She will be linked below. Please go and check her channel out. She's only got like less than 400 subscribers. We need to give her all the love. She does a Kindle scribe review. She does reading vlogs. So please, please, please go and check her out. Um, you know, kind of a little thank you for her sending me some books because she's an absolute delight. But anyway, um, yeah, that's it. I have read 42 big pages. Um, I need to get some more reading done, guys. So I will check in with you later. Hi friends, it is about quarter to seven and there's about an hour left in the book two besties retreat and an hour left in Dewey's reverse readathon. I have not done that great, my friends. I think I've got maybe 150 pages. You know, it's, uh, 
you know, with the booktube besties retreat, it's great and I love it. Um, but I was having like issues with zoom. So unfortunately I have missed big chunks of it. Um, I, my computer's been messing up a lot as well. So that's a thing. Um, plus Garrett, I had to go out. We had some stuff to do. It just, this weekend just did not work out for that for me, unfortunately. Um, and I'm sad to say that cause I really, really do love it. Um, but yeah, so anyway, it's a thing. Um, but yeah, I've only read like 150. I actually ended up having a nap this afternoon. We were out and it is so hot out and so gross that I got home and I was just so tired. So anyway, we just ordered dinner. Like I said, it's about seven o'clock. We ordered from Harvey's. Any fellow Canadians will know exactly what I mean. It's Harvey, like H-A-R-V-Y. Um, the best burgers, hands down, in my opinion. So very much looking forward to that. It should be coming in about a half an hour. But um, to hit my goal for the day, like I do try, I don't try to do this. Like I'm not regimented on it, but I kind of like, I'm a goal oriented type person. So I'm like, okay, today I want to read this many pages in this book. So I set myself a goal for her seal bodyguard by Cindy Dees. And I got another couple chapters that they read very quickly. So I think while I'm waiting for dinner, I'm going to go ahead and read those two chapters. But so the Dewey's ends at eight, as does the book two besties retreat. Um, and that was originally going to be my cutoff for this vlog, but I think I'm actually going to go ahead and continue it until I go to bed and see how many pages I can get throughout the rest of the night. Because, um, I had that nap this afternoon, so I'm wide awake. I have a feeling I'll be awake till at least midnight. So I'll do the cutoff and the cutoff will be midnight. Let's see how many pages I can get until midnight. So, and then I'll probably go to bed because Garrett and I are planning on going out tomorrow. But anyway, yeah, so I just wanted to do another little check-in and um, when I'll check in again after dinner, because like I said, I have the spinner wheel to pick the next book I'm going to read, um, like from the ones I'm currently reading. So what I'll do is I'll kind of show you guys that. Um, and, uh, and yeah, so anyway, I will check in with you guys then. Talk to you soon. Bye. Hi friends. Sorry for the background noise. If you can hear my fan, it is warm in this room, but uh, I finished my goal for today on this book. I got um, about 116 pages read, so I'm almost halfway through it, and I just started it this morning. This is really fun, to be completely honest with you guys. It, it doesn't seem like it. It's a romantic suspense. It's like, you know, danger and intrigue, but it is really fun. So I will talk more about it in next week's vlog. I don't want to get too much into the books right now. So I'm a little annoyed because we ordered dinner, as I said, and, you know, on the app and all that stuff, because, you know, every place now has an app and they have a uh, track your order and I ordered it at quarter to seven. It is now quarter to eight and it hasn't moved from the fact of being placed. So now I have to waste my time going over there. And I said that to Garrett originally. I'm like, okay, I'll place the order on the app, but I will go and pick it up. Oh no, no, no. It's free delivery. It's free delivery. Yeah. Okay. Now, now I'm have to, now I'm hungry and I have to waste my time. So not a happy camper. Anyway, just before I go do that, I'm going to turn the camera around and I'm going to show you guys my little um, uh, spin the wheel so we can pick the next book. I will probably the only other book I'll be reading for the rest of the night. And I'm at 162 pages for the day. So or for the 24 hours, I guess. So that's not too shabby. I'll take the win. But like I said, I'll probably check in at least one more time tonight. Talk to you soon. Bye. All right, my friends, so here's my spinning wheel. Let's go ahead and spin it and see what book we get. Very exciting. I really, this is fun, honestly. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yay, it's time for a cozy mystery, Murder at the Beacon Bake Shop. So yeah, I will check in with you guys again shortly. Different view, I'm in the car, and if you can see behind me, I am at Harvey's. So about 10 minutes ago, I got a phone call from them. Not from the store, from their head office or district or whatever. And they're the ongoing saga of my dinner. Who knew this vlog would be so entertaining? So, um, telling me that my order that I placed an hour ago had a problem because their online ordering system was down an hour later. But the online ordering system may be down, but their payment uh, was not down because they had taken the money already from my bank account. So the, I said to the girl, so what are we going to do? Are, you're canceling the order and you're refunding me? No, no. I have to go over to the store. Mmm. I'm so angry right now, so I will update you guys when I get back in. It is 7.59 and this vlog officially ends in a minute. But of course, I'm probably going to do one more clip after this to let you know how far I got in Murder at the Beacon Bake Shop. But first, dinner update. <laughs>
<laughs> so I went in and I work customer service. So I know it's not the person on the other end of the phone. It's not the person on the, at the counter who you're, you know, it's corporate policy. And I am more than aware of that, which is why I don't try to lose my mind in front of these people because it's not them. I don't like it when people do it to me. I would never do it to anybody else. So the girl was super sweet. She was the, I guess, assistant manager at the store here. And um, so we had a little chat and I explained her what happened. She's like, I'm really sorry. And I'm like, that's okay. So she's reprocessing my payment that went through. And she said like, it might be three to four business days, which is fine. I just want to make sure that it's been dealt with, right? So she's like, if you don't see it by Friday, by like Thursday, I said, I'll wait till Friday. Um, she's like, give the store a call. I'm like, great. And I said, well, since I'm here, I need dinner. So the sweetheart gave it to me at coupon pricing. So it was actually $12 cheaper than it cost me on the app. And that with that free delivery charge, a free delivery just means that they jack up the prices. So guys, the moral of this story is just go to the location and pick up your dinner or your meal. It just makes so much more sense. It's cheaper. You know, it, it just, I get the DoorDash and the Uber Eats and all those things are like great. They're, they're actually helping people with like with jobs and stuff like that, but I'm sorry. They, the prices are always more expensive because of course you're paying these other companies and you know, whatever. Sometimes it's just nice to get out. I get it if the weather's inclement or it's super cold or whatever. But then, you know, the other thing is too, is that your food's now in somebody's car and you don't know how many stops they have. So, it, you might be the last person after four people, so your food could be cold, you know what I mean? As I sit here, <laughs> but it's hot as Hades in this car right now. So anyway, I'm going home, having my dinner, and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Bye. Hi guys, last clip of the vlog. Um, I was going to update you later, but I think I'm just going to relax for the rest of the night. Um, I'm going to read some of uh, the Beacon Bake Shop murder, murder at the Beacon Bake Shop. Uh, dinner was delicious, um, but it is now, it's about 8.30 at night. I feel like this is a good time to stop the vlog. So I got a little over 160 pages read in the 24 hours. That's not too shabby at all. I have both cats sitting up here with me right now. So <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get this vlog edited, do some reading, maybe watch some booktube, my friends, and I will start a new vlog tomorrow. Do keep in mind that starting tomorrow on Sunday, when you guys see this on Sunday, it is the start of the page count reading challenge. Yay! So I am super stoked about that. If you are on Discord, please check out my Discord link and join us over there to share how many pages you're reading. If you do not have Discord, please feel free to share in the comments below. How are you going to be doing? What are you going to be doing for that? And I thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I don't think it was very long, but at least you got some dinner drama. So that's always fun. <laughs> Sorry, that's the cats. All right, I gotta go. Bye, guys. The two that do not get along. Bean's pretty much a crotchety old man. And Presley is just a young pup who wants to play. But Bean doesn't play. He's too old for that crap.